It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, let me know in the comments below, Aquarius. Let me know which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how we keep up with y'all through the comments. Also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, darling, or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it. Aquarius, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. Um, but put it in perspective, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here, Aquarius, just to give you some food for thought to, for today, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, Aquarius, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Aquarius. Starting out your energy, Aquarius, I pulled a angel oracle card so we could get an idea of the general theme of this week for you, honey. My beard is open. Oh, honey, darling. So uh, the angel that stepped forward for you guys is Sandalfon. For some reason, he's not identified as an archangel in this deck. I don't know if that's intentional. But um, I'm going to hold up the card for a little bit as well. Uh, queer, so you can look at the card itself. So tab back in, darling. Look at this card if you're tabbed out. Uh, queer, so come on over back to the screen so you can look at it. Um, but yeah, this card says Angel of New Life. Now, for those who are veterans of my channel, darling, I associate Sandalfon also with bringing people together. That is what I mostly know him for. Um, so definitely Aquarius. Um, I do feel as if, we, oddly enough, I feel like I just got a message. Uh, <laughs> darling, I feel like Raven Simone, where it's just like, oh, I got a vision. But it kind of was like that. I do feel as if Sandalfon's bringing forward people, uh, bringing forward to people in your life, Aquarius. So these are more so, this is more so of a message of my self-employed people i feel like they're you're being brought forward like clients that's a weird message i feel like you're being brought like your past being being crossed with some clients um we're not going to go into that too deeply because we could be here all day but take that as you will aquarius this is interesting um i'm seeing the number three so let's get three clarifiers for this we have the three of cups confirming that okay darling I love it when I'm good at my job, Aquarius, yes. Um, <laughs> three of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles inverted for you. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Um, so let's break this down for you. New life. So Three of Cups confirming to me where it's like, I do feel like people are being brought, being brought to your life, clients being brought to your life. Ace of Wands being right next to that card as well kind of confirms it of where um really going forward with something now i am going to be honest here aquarius i just have to just as like the tarot reader in me also honey keep in mind also i want to make a side you know aquarius it's over 100 degrees here in washington there's no ac darling i'm dying so i'm going to be uh, looking extra juice <laughs> moisturize not juicy i guess i'd be looking juicy recently darling um in this reading so that's why um no ac honey i don't know if i mentioned that um ace of wands though is kind of like a sexual card in nature but i can't i don't like to really hone in in terms of like sexual energies and stuff just because I don't. Um, but I do, I feel like it's, I'm kind of responsible to like bring that forward. Um, if this is the case though, I do feel as if this eight of, eight of pentacles inverted, this is kind of a call out for my Aquariuses who, um, be careful <laughs> if, this, if you are regarding this in terms of like an intimate energy um, because this is more so if you're going back into old ways. I feel like your focus is breathing, breathing new life into your situation, darling, not going back to old situations. Kind of see this though as like, I wouldn't be surprised if some of my Aquariuses admit to me in the comments if they're being like, oh, Velka, I kind of hooked up with my old ex that wasn't good for me anymore. And that's kind of what I see this as, um, as well. But let's go into the optimistic nature. This is outside of relationships. Go Going back into what I saw, I really do feel as if like clients or some of that, some people that somehow correlate with what it is that you do, Aquarius being brought forward to you to help you like go forward and pave a path with something that you've been struggling with personally. So let's just say you are an author, uh, Aquarius, right? And you don't know how, like, you write these wonderful stories, but you don't know how to get them published. I almost feel as if 
um, Sandalfon's bringing forward people into your life um, that can help you out, um, help you where your weak points are, right? That's where I kind of feel like it is. Like, I feel like new energy is being brought into your life, Aquarius, um, to help you in your weak points, so whatever that weak point is for you, whether it's in terms of something creative, whether it's in terms of you just feeling lonely, Aquarius, right? And you've been craving for um, a better intimate connection with people that understand you better. I, again, I don't want this to come, when I say intimate, you can have intimate connections with your friendships, right? It doesn't have to all be about romance, darling. So let's close off this energy. Death card. So yes, definitely Aquariuses. Now y'all don't have to admit it to me, Aquarius, in the comments below, but you can if you want to, because I'm nosy, honey. But, uh, <laughs> Um, I do definitely feel like Aquarius is like, I feel like some of you guys are going to try to be doing the walk of shame. Do not, do not hook back up with your ex, darling. If this is the case, do not go into old energies. Focus on the new. The new energies is what you want to be focusing in on. Do not breathe life into old situations. Those old situations just need to die out, honey. So, um, <laughs> so Aquarius, Aquarius, honey, now let's get into the messages spirit has for you, right? This is my favorite part just because this is where it's like the tough love messages, honey. So if you're a little bit sensitive, Aquarius, this part may not be for you. But um, the cards that came flying out, we had the Hermit card inverted for you, as well as the Queen of Pentacles inverted for you. So Aquarius is, this could be, now we're going to have to pull clarifiers on this so, so I can have a better message with this. But off first impressions, this may be for calling out my Aquarius is that may have been um, using social... Mm, I feel like there's some type of engagement that you're doing that just is kind of keeping you busy or keeping you distracted, Aquarius. And I feel like even if you are honest with yourself, or rather if you were honest with yourself, Aquarius, it feels like you're like just so you know in maybe let's just say in terms of a social situation right it feels almost as if you're engaging or around people who just enable you to not that just isn't very good you know as an example like you're just around people that like to drink a lot right um no shade whatsoever darling i used to be an alcoholic i still love me a little drink or two once in a while hello whiskey but um <laughs> it feels like you might be spending a little bit too much time with those types of people where it's like it's starting to affect your own health um also this could be a situation aquarius did i call you guys gemini earlier i hope i didn't i apologize if i did aquarius but this also could be speaking of a situation aquarius where it's like you guys are not checking in with yourself when's the last time that you had an honest conversation with yourself and checked in with yourself aquarius and um, you know does i feel like does everybody am i like the only one aquarius that will have like moments where they're extremely present with themselves and just be like all right all right valka you're here like let's just i don't know i feel like you guys need to just take a moment to just out of like your day and just really look everything over and really just check in with yourself right good get like a like when's the last time that you just spent yourself by spent time completely by yourself um right i kind of get this sense of queries that you could also you know i like to just throw out the suggestion just because for I me mean, full bias honey because this is what i do right um get a hotel for the weekend go out for the weekend um, even going out in nature, I do feel like you guys need to go be by yourself a little bit and check in with Aquarius and just make sure Aquarius is feeling good and doing good. All right. So um, now let's pull a, um, let's do one for this. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> so darling, we, the spirit said, all right, we're going to do one more Valko and boom, the tower card, darling. Um, I feel like if you guys continue at not, like, continue down this, it's almost, I won't be surprised if we get, like, the devil card for your reading, honestly, Aquarius, because it, it does feel like if you continue down some type of path, it's kind of just self-destructive, right? I feel like I am kind of tapping into an Aquarius who is about to hit their limit with something. Um, whatever that thing is for you, I don't know. So let's get a couple more cards. Why is this tower card here? sun card with the five of wands inverted so this is kind of going to be a chaotic message i do feel like there's going to be a little bit of a rumble happening um for you aquarius i do feel like this tower moment is one of those things where you may have like a rude wake-up call but it's in the best for your best interest rather right so it may not be the most pleasant of things so let's just say right <sighs> You know, I'll just use myself as, as an example, right? I knew when to put a hold on my drinking or get a handle on my drinking, darling, when I had my first 
first of many not i say this not proudly blacking out is not a fun thing to do darling when i first blacked out and i was like okay i don't remember anything i probably should get it i mean obviously it didn't work out since i had several more but like i was first a self-aware i don't have a problem anymore chris <laughs> i promise you um I can barely even handle the White Claw no more. Um, King of Cups coming in here. I do just feel um, you guys need to check in with yourself and ask yourself the honest question on where it is that you could be improving in, Aquarius. What habits, what things are you doing that are enabling you to not answer to your highest good, right? When's the last time that you did your creative pursuits? When is the last time that you checked, looked up from where you're going and checked to make sure that you're going in the right direction for your life, right? King of Cups, when's the last time that you checked in with your own emotions, right? Nine of Cups coming in here for for um, your fulfillment. I feel like um, Aquarius, for you guys, truly, um, <sighs> this is going to be a week where I feel like if you don't do something to get your life kind of back into balance, spirit's going to do that for you. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad thing. I mean, this is coming from someone who immerses their life with deities and spirit guides, right? So I always welcome in their influence. But this is showing to me, um, Aquarius. And I, again, I don't feel this in necessarily a bad way. Like, you only could perceive the tower card and this whole spread here in a bad way, Aquarius in the sense of where it's just like a lot going on. It's more so just like discomfort. You're or, like the rug's going to be pulled from under you, right? Or like <laughs> random example, it's just like, you know, you're living at your parents' house and they unplug the internet, they unplug the Wi-Fi, they unplug the router, that's the word, right? And you're inconvenienced and just be like, all right, I guess I gotta like leave my room and be pr a productive member of society or something, right? It's in that way, right? I feel like you guys are gonna just get a wake up call, but I don't feel like it's anything like spooky, right? I really don't. So I don't want this to be like a anxiety inducing thing for you guys, Aquarius. Now let's get into the good things that are in the works for you, darling Aquarius. Let's see what the good things are in the works for you this week. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, this card wanted to come out. We have the Four of Swords coming out with the Four of Cups as well. Write down the number four, Aquarius, because I do feel like that's the number following you this week. So when you have the Four of Swords coming in here, this is um, kind of like writing something out, right? Um, writing something out in kind of like a let go and let God situation, right? So let's get three clear for four for this since I'm being shown that number. Uh, all right, so we have the Fool card inverted, Three of Pentacles inverted, Magician card inverted, and the Eight of, no, not Eight, Five of Cups. Oh, baby, come on, inverted. <laughs> um, hmm. Aquarius, something didn't really quite work out. I feel like you kind of had high hopes for something. Oddly enough, I do feel like it was kind of financially um, influenced or like financially motivating for you, something didn't work out. And it really, in terms of like collaborative energies, like working with other people, right? It feels like you were just like right at the precipice to be like, oh, wow, like I could have this opportunity to work in this partnership with like this person or with this company, right? Um, and I feel like something happened where it just didn't really work out for you. And I feel like this is one of those messages, Aquarius, where it's just like, don't fight for this to be more relevant right now. Don't fight for any type of change for this. Kind of let things go its natural course, um, Aquarius. And I feel like that's when things are going to be revealed to you at a later point. It's when it's it's a quote from a Bible. It's a quote from the Bible, actually, Aquarius, where it's like, um, I, th I believe it's Jesus or God's one of those two. Where it's like right now, right now, and it's like verbatim, it's not verbatim, honey, obviously, <laughs> but it's one of those things like right now you don't understand, but later you will, essentially. Um, so it's one of those things like right now you're not going to understand the situation, but down the road you're going to be able to self reflect and be like, oh, okay, that's why they did that. You know, when your parents do stuff, you don't understand it as a kid, and then you look back on it later on in life at, when you're an adult and you're just like, okay, I can kind of understand why my parents did that or why my parental figures did that. Aquarius, let's get into your social situations this week. And when I say social situations, it could be your romantic life, it could be your work life, uh, work associates, you know, platonic friendships, darling, it can be whatever, 
right? Just your social interactions, honey. Um, so the card that came for, came flying out, rather, is the South Node. So this card says, don't let your past hold you back. Um, so very much similar to this Five of Cups energy that we are tapping into before. Um, Aquarius. Again, I feel like it's kind of leading into the sense where you had really high hopes with the connection. And it kind of bummed you, like, for whatever, what's ever happened, it's, like, disappointed you or, like, bummed you out, Aquarius. Maybe it's, like, you're not happy with how it necessarily panned out, right? Maybe it's not necessarily, like, a, like, a, maybe it's not necessarily, like, a thing where it's, like, the situation's, like, closed off and done for. But it's just, it's, like, you're not liking where the turn of this connection turned out to be, right? I'm seeing the number three. So let's get into this. We have the Devil card. There's that Devil card, honey. Inverted. Ten of Cups in upright. And then the Nine of Wands inverted. So, for you guys, this is the Devil. For you guys, don't... Hmm. I feel like there's kind of a situation, uh, Aquarius, where you kind of just need to, again, it's this situation just letting it go. Um, not fighting it anymore. Ten of Cups shows to me. This is, this is ultimately where one of those things where it's like you had high hopes with the connection and it just turns out to, I mean, no pun intended, but it just wasn't in the cards for you right now when it comes to this person. Um, again, I don't feel like, oddly enough, you're not getting any pain cards, painful cards, which is a good sign, Aquarius, because y'all have been going through a struggle honey um but it's almost just like mm, i don't know aquarius i really do get this sense here where it's <laughs> just like this disappointment in some type of social situation and where it's one of those things where you kind of have to just like let it ride out for a little bit longer is what i'm getting let's get a final card two of swords in here so you don't know how to handle this situation is this Ten of Cups? Is, it, is this Ten of Cups and this Devil card together associated with you? Is this like a family situation? You don't know how to handle the situation? You don't know where to go with this situation? The Empress card in the reverse. So there is a definitely, I'm getting this strong situation here, Aquarius, where it's like, and I do feel like it's kind of reflective off of the general portion. In a sense, Aquarius, where I feel like you got to just focus in on new collaborations. Keep your eyes on the prize, you know? Um... Nine of Wands here coming in with this, both of these two inverted. I really do get this sense here where it's like, you got to just keep it moving. <laughs> I feel like you got to just keep it moving. Don't like be like, it's not one of, it's one of those things where it's like, again, I don't want to repeat. I mean, I am going to repeat the message where it's like, don't let your past hold you back. But also like, you may not understand now why it is this happened in this way, right? You may still be working with this person. You may um, be doing whatever down the road. It just is not going to be right now that I'm getting Aquarius. So take that as you will. Right now, Aquarius, let's get into your financial and work situation this week. What's going on with your career, Aquarius, darling? Let's see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears when it comes to your work life, when it comes to your financial matters. What are you guys fearing right now, Aquarius? What's going on here? Because it's the new moon in Scorpio. Uh, huh. Definitely points towards insecurities. Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are freaking out about how are you going to pay the bills or something, or just paying the bills in general. Seeing the number three. Nine of Wands inverted, King of Pentacles inverted, High Priestess in the upright. Very protective energy. Very much so, though. Like, you're feeling very unmotivated, Aquarius. Like, it feels almost like you were... Are you... Aquarius, I feel like you're not getting paid or compensated for your stuff as nicely as you should be. Is something that I'm getting. Like, I don't know if you're working at a job that isn't rewarding you. I don't know. Like, I don't know what your social situation is, but I feel like you're not being compensated in some way properly. And with this High Priestess card, I want to get a little bit more on this High Priestess card of what it is you're feeling. Five of Swords, Nine of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you already feel it as well too, Aquarius. There's almost like this sense of where you kind of have to take the leap of faith and make a change when it comes to your financial. And I feel like it is a pretty big change associated with this because you realize that you're not getting paid enough or being compensated properly. And I feel like that's what's freaking you out. I feel like you kind of know that you need to transition. You got to do something different um, when it comes to your financial matters. And 
I just don't know what, how that you would approach that necessarily. But I just see your current situation here where it's like, you're just not feeling very good. Like, I don't know. It just is like this weird message, Aquarius. So I feel like you're not being rewarded and you even feel like you're not being rewarded. It's like you have your hands out and waiting for your payday. And then you're just like, oh, that's it. I can't even pay the bills. I can't even feed my family with this, honey. Um, and I feel like you need to not be afraid to ask for more, Aquarius. Um, get out of your head. Whatever your fears are that are holding you back financially, if you have like an idea that will give you more finances or even just asking for a raise, um, what are your fears associated with this? How do you work through them, Aquarius? Right? How do you work through them? We have the Six of Wands inverted coming in for you. I feel like you got to cut your losses with something, Aquarius, but... I feel like this is not going to be a situation that you overcome this week. So I'm going to just leave that there, right? We'll see how that continues, marinates throughout the week for you, honey. But uh, Aquarius, before we close out this reading for you, darling, y'all already know, my veterans know that I love me a quote, Aquarius. So I'm going to give y'all a quote card to take for you as you go throughout your week. So the card that stepped forward for you is the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. I love this card, Aquarius, because this is very much so where it's just like you're focusing on the prize, keeping your eye on the prize, right? The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free uh, free I am. This is very much so a similar message to working through your fears, right? So um, yeah, take that as you will, Aquarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this uh tarot reading for you aquarius um i hope you found some tarot cards honey i need to end this <laughs> i can't speak no more i hope you found some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading let me know in the comments below which cards did if you did if you'd like to book a private reading with me aquarius my website is just simply i link it down below along with all my social medias uh instagram tiktok twitter everything is just simply velka darling um and yeah aquarius if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not darling send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them as well but until next time aquarius i love you so much